To create a tabular report from the reports tab in any Salesforce application, just click on new report. It takes you to the report builder for Salesforce and you first have to select your report type. This defaults to all report types and you can narrow this down to select the object or objects you would like to include in your report. These are standard report types, not to be confused with report formats and we are doing a tabular report format, which is nothing more than a table, pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to create a tabular report of all accounts in my organization here. So I'm going to select the report type of accounts and then click continue. And in the report builder, we have the ability to select fields to include, fields to filter by, and there are a couple of filters provided here by default and this is showing me just my accounts that were created on or after a date which was about a week ago i'm recording this december 27th so the past seven days you can change these by selecting a custom range or selecting all time i'm just going to select all time all accounts that belong to me or i could remove this filter so instead of my accounts i'm going to select all accounts and apply this would be all accounts that are owned by any users that have been created at any time in my organization. And you'll notice that this update preview automatically is checked and so it updates automatically as I change these filters. Now you can rearrange these columns or remove columns if you wish. For example, if I want to remove last activity, I can do that. If I want to remove billing state and province, I can remove that as well. And then you can rearrange by clicking the down arrow here and saying I want to move this to the left or the right. And then the outline side of things gives you columns that you can include. And so these are the ones that are currently here are also here. We can remove them this way as well by clicking X updates automatically. And if you want to add other columns, you can do so. And that updates as well. And you can give this a different name by clicking the pencil icon up here. And I'm going to just say that this is a tabular report. So I've renamed that tabular report and so now I can click save, select where I want this to be and this defaults to my private reports folder. If you want to make this report available to others you would want to select a public report folder and then just simply click save and then to see this in action and outside of the report builder just click run and this takes you to the end user experience. Now that this is in a public instead of a private folder you could send out the link to this and share this with other users. That's the easiest report to make in Salesforce is a tabular report. There's three other report formats that would be summary, matrix, and joined. I'll be making videos on those as well. So look for those also. And be